How's everybody doing today? My name is Steven Rosenberg, this is Gene Ginsberg, and welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. We have a wonderful show for you guys today. Gene, how are you doing so far? I'm doing really well, Steven, and always excited to be on the show and talking about entrepreneurial journeys, entrepreneurial challenges, and hoping, you know, hoping, hopefully our audiences um, are taking some good notes today because mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is goals and saying no in your business. So um, yesterday I was at my entrepreneurial group and um, I meet with them once, uh, once a month. Uh, there are people who are kind of similar in, in their entrepreneurial journey. And we have a coach that kind of walks us through and you know, gives us things to think about and um, you know, talks about our challenges with us. So it's a, it's a great group and I would highly recommend creating a group like that for your business um, or if you have a business creating, you know, finding people or entrepreneurs. But um, we talked about goals yesterday at our meeting and of course, we talk about goals pretty often in our meetings because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you should be setting goals. You should be working towards those goals. But one of the things that came up was saying no in your business, and mm. um, which is really important because a lot of times as entrepreneurs, we want to say yes to everything and, you know, to everybody because we want to please people. We want to grow revenues in our company, which would allow us to do that. But we really also need to think about is this client, this customer, um, this product, this goal really aligned with your core values, your mission and your vision statements? Because if we say yes to everything, then we will never get anything done because we will just right. be constantly saying yes and we will not be achieving our goals to in, in time because we will just be having shiny object syndrome and saying yes to everything and being like, oh, I'll help this person and I'll help that client and I'll help this customer. And, and, um, and of course you have to be helping your current customers, but taking on new things that are not in line with your values, your, your core values, your mission and your vision statement, it can be detrimental to your business. So what are your thoughts on that, Stephen? Yeah, so I, I definitely agree with that. I think having the yes syndrome can be completely detrimental to a business, especially if you're just starting out. Having those clear-cut uh, mission and vision statements is extremely important. Um, I think that you know, especially when you encounter a situation where maybe something is in line with your mission and vision, but you're just not at the appropriate scale to be able to take that client on or take that project on, because what you don't want to happen is to say yes and then you know be in over your head and then fail uh, for a client and then lose that client forever. Whereas if you say no, I actually think there's power behind saying no, and it increases that desire for the client and then. That way when you're ready you can really take them on. So I think it has a lot of value both to save you uh, from yourself and from you know the obstacles of starting a business, but also um, to be able to prevent you know bad things from happening. Yeah, and of course the other thing besides, you know, if you say yes and things don't work out with this client, you lose the client. But the other yep. thing is that you also can that could also tar your reputation. Right. Because right. You know, if this client was unhappy and you promised something, didn't deliver, and then this client knows other people, of course, in the, in the industry and, on, you know, in the entrepreneurial industry, it can be very detrimental also to your reputation. And as we know, our reputations are really what drives the business. And if you're yep. known in the community um, as someone who doesn't deliver promises but under delivers or you know it's it can be really damaging to your reputation and in turn your business so it's it's also important to think about it that way that you know don't say yes if you can't deliver to a client and yes saying no potentially could be more powerful because um, you know, it, it's always it's not always bad to say no because um, if you say no you can still get to know this client or this customer um, or this prospect, I guess, and, and that would be a prospect at that point. And in the future, potentially engage with them later down the line. At that point, you have, you know, you've kind of gotten some rapport with them. You've created a relationship with that person. And it's so much easier to work together at that point versus just like jumping into bed, you know, <laughs> metaphorically right away. Um, we always know that doesn't always work. Um, so, yeah, so those, um, I think it's really important you know, as entrepreneurs to remember that it's not always, it's not always yes. You, you have to know when to say no. Completely. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. 
So any um, anything else? I know this is going to be a short video, but I just wanted to stress that point. Any other parting thoughts that you have, Stephen? Well, um, no, I guess I would just say, you know, maybe for our viewers out there, have you guys ever encountered a situation where you've had to say no? And, you know, how close was it? Have you said yes and then regretted it? We'd love to hear some stories uh, and some feedback from you guys. Yeah, definitely. We always love to hear feedback. So please put some uh, information or some st your story in the comments. Um, we always love to hear questions and comments. So uh, great. Thanks so much, Stephen. A really good show today. Short and sweet. Yep. But to the uh, point. An important, and, uh, but yeah, very to the point. Let's just say no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No for, no for extending this particular video. <laughs> exactly. Well, I will uh, see everyone next time. And as always, it was a pleasure. Gene. Thanks so much. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.